there, it's Mr. Jonathan at the Hart Memorial Library, and today we're doing Bite Size History. We're going to be talking about Marie Antoinette, who was the Queen of France from 1774 until 1792. When most people think of Marie Antoinette, they think of that big, tall hairdo called the puff. And these were actually wigs, and sometimes they could be very extravagant, up to three feet tall, maybe incorporating a ship or a bird's nest. But what a lot of people don't know is they were very heavy and they were often infested with bugs or mice. In addition to being a bit of a fashion icon in her day, Marie Antoinette was also very controversial. During a period where a lot of people in France were starving, Marie Antoinette was living this fabulous life at the Palace of Versailles, where she would throw lavish parties to entertain her friends. But life at the palace was hard for her. She was actually born in Austria and only came to France after marrying Louis XVI. And what we don't think about when we think about palace life is that it wasn't always a cakewalk. So a lot of times, palace life was filled with palace entree, where people were spying on one another or gossiping about one another or trying to get one person kicked out or trying to have more power than another person. And so it wasn't always very pleasant. And when Marie Antoinette wanted to escape that atmosphere, she would sometimes go to Petit Trianon, which was another palace on the grounds of Versailles. But she decided she didn't have quite enough privacy even there. So she had architect Richard Mique design La Amo de la Reine, the Queen's Hamlet. And it was this rustic retreat on the grounds of Versailles. And it included a farmhouse and a dairy and a mill in the shape of a lighthouse and even a temple of love. And it was where Marie Antoinette could go and she and her friends could pretend that they lived a simpler lifestyle. They could collect eggs from chickens. They could do things like walk among the grounds and pretend that instead of being at the palace, they were deep, deep in the country. And in addition, this provided them with the opportunity to be able to talk with more privacy since the grand salons at the Palace of Versailles were very large. You wouldn't have been able to talk or really enjoy yourself without somebody gossiping or looking over your shoulder and spying on you. So going to La Mo de la Reine allowed Marie Antoinette to really relax and enjoy her friends without worrying about people always trying to figure out what she was talking about. So today we're going to do some research. So the first thing we're going to do is hop on our computer and we're going to look up the Palace of Versailles and look how fabulous it is. But then also double check the part of that website where it talks about La Mo de la Reine, which was the rustic retreat where Marie Antoinette went to get away and pretend that she lived a simpler life. And you're going to decide whether you're going to build a big, fabulous palace out of cardboard or a smaller rustic retreat. And what we're going to be using to build that is cardboard and make-dos. And make-dos are these small plastic screws that you can get online. And they come along with a screwdriver and then also a saw for cutting cardboard. And this is safe. It's made out of plastic, but be careful use it with mom and dad because you could still hurt yourself. So maybe this is the tool that mom and dad should use if you're not ready yet. But all you gotta do is you put together, design what you're gonna make, and then take your screw and add a little bit of pressure and you can connect the two pieces of cardboard that you wanna connect to make either small projects or big projects. So what you're gonna need is some make-dos. If you don't have make-dos, that's okay. You can use uh, packing tape, you can use big giant binder clips, you can use hot glue, or maybe instead of using cardboard, you're just gonna use sheets and pillows and chairs, either way. But you'll need some cardboard, you'll need markers and paint, uh, and maybe if you have some old Christmas lights laying around, you can throw those in there too and get designing. I'm gonna show you what I made right now. Bonjour, everybody. Welcome to our Amo de la Reine. Look at me! Hey! <laughs> Show them the door. Ooh, and what about the windows? Do the windows open? And there's another door, and we made a thatched roof, and we added some Christmas lights that we had laying around, and now I've promised that he can sleep in there. So we have a little retreat of our own. All right, say au revoir. Au revoir. How'd you do? 
I hope you had fun on this activity. I know I did. Marie Antoinette is someone from history that has always fascinated me. Unfortunately, in 1792, she was actually executed. She and her husband and their entire government was overthrown during the French Revolution, which was when the aristocracy was deposed and a constitutional monarchy was put in place. This is considered one of the most important events in human history, and it's definitely worth reading about. I hope you had fun today. Once again, I'm Mr. Jonathan at the Hart Memorial Library. See you soon.